Good day, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's phonic lesson. We're going to be looking at four phonic sounds for this week, two of which are those tricky silent letters. So get ready. Let's go. Our first phonic sound is the silent letter B. Just like the previous silent letters, there are rules to help us identify silent letters in English words. The rule for the letter B is that it is always silent when it comes after the letter M. Let's look at the list of words. Climb. Crumb. Lamb. Thumb. Dumb. Plumber. Notice we do not say the B at the end of the word. Say these words again with me without pronouncing the letter B at the end. Ready? Climb. Crumb. Lamb. Thumb. Dumb. Plumber. Good job. The second rule for the silent letter B is that it is silent when it comes before the letter T. Look at the list. Subtle. Debt. Doubt. Notice the word subtle. We do not say subtle, but subtle. The letter B is silent. Let's say these words and the sentences together. Subtle. He enjoyed the subtle flavor of garlic in his food. Debt. He paid off his debt. Doubt. Do not doubt yourself. Let's say these words one more time. Subtle. Debt. Doubt. Now try using these words to make sentences in your exercise books. The second phonic sound for this week is the A sound. The letters that make up the sound are A and I, and they are pronounced as A. Let's look at the list. Rain. When we break up the words into its phonic sounds, we get R, A, N. Rain. Pain. P, A, N, pain. Train, tra, a, n, train. Main, m, a, n, main. Plain, pl, a, n, plain. Let's repeat the words together. Ready? Rain, pain, train, main. Plain. In the previous slide, we saw how to break up the words into their phonic sounds. Let's look at how these words are built up using their phonic sounds. R, A, N, rain. The children played in the rain. A, N, pain. He had back pain. Tr, A, N, train. The train left the station. Ch, A, N. Chain. My mum has a new chain. Let's see how many of these words you can say before the time runs out. Ready? Let's go. Well done. Now choose five of your favorite words and write sentences with them in your exercise books. The third phonic sound for this week is the s sound. 
the letters that make up the sound are C and E, and we pronounce them as S. Let's look at the list. Face. Let's break up these words into their phonic sounds. A, S, face. R, I, S, rice. D, and S, dance. Sp, I, S, spice. Pl, A, S, place. Let's say these words again. Ready? Face. Rice. Dance. Spice. Place. Let's build up the words using the phonic sounds. Remember, follow the finger. A. S. Face. Do not touch your face. R. I. S. Rice. I ate all my rice. D. An. S. Dance. I dance to the music. Game time. Let's see how many of these words you can say before the time runs out. Ready, set, go. Well done. Now use these words to make sentences in your exercise books. We've come to the last phonic sound for this week. Good job for doing so well so far. Our last phonic sound is the silent letter W. Now remember, silent letters are not pronounced in words, but they are rules to help us to know when we shouldn't pronounce them. The first rule to identify the silent letter W is that the letter W is not pronounced at the beginning of a word if it comes before the R. Let's read the list. Right. Wrong. Wreck. Wrestle. Rap. We're not pronouncing the letter W at the beginning, but we're saying the second letter. Right. Wrong. Wreck. Wrestle. Rap. The letter W is also silent in the following words. Who, whose, whole, whom, whoever, answer, sword, to. Say them again with me. Who, whose, whole, whom, whoever, answer. Sword. Two. Well done. Well done, boys and girls. We've come to the end of this week's phonic lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that with all you've learned so far, you are well on your way to becoming star readers and spellers. Remember to look for these phonic words that you've just learned and practice making sentences with them in your exercise books. Till next time, Remember, you're a star.